Okay, round midnight. Uh, starts out on a knee flat. I borrowed at the sixth fret, and then I put my uh, ring finger and pinky down on the eighth fret of the D and G. Now the melody line are the top four notes. Uh, the way I pick it is to just first pick the D plain and then strum the first four notes, the bass notes, and then pick up the B and the high E. So the whole idea is to let that single note start it with a little bit of authority, then strum the chord and let that ring to, to Provide a foundation for the rest of the line. Like that. And then, I, then we shift to a C half diminished, which is also a C7, C minor 7 flat 5. Um, the way I grab it is just to put my thumb around over here on the 8th fret. I'm leaving these two fingers right where they are, and then I put my middle finger down on the seventh fret of the B. That's like why I like to use my thumb. Just bing. Not much, not much movement there. Then the melody note is on the D string. Just pluck the chord. A lot of chord melodies basically plucking a chord and then plucking a couple of what I would call connecting notes and melody lines in between them. The next chord is the F, F minor 7 flat 5, and I'm grabbing this again, not much motion here, my thumb is al already here, and I'm just going to have it grab the A string as well as the E. My ring finger is now on the G string, A fret, and the first finger comes across on bars, mainly just want to pick up that sixth string of the D. Because I'm only plucking the four bass notes. So it's basically uh, 8, 8, 6, 8. And then the melody line is just going from the 8 to the 7 to the 8 on the G. And I'm bringing my middle finger in there to help out to get that 7th fret of the G. And then it ends on a B7. I like to use a B7 with a raised or a sharp 5. It gives kind of a spooky sound and this is around midnight. So, so you know, your normal B flat would be here. Seventh would be like that. Uh, the voice I'm picking here, and really so much is about voicing, is to have the seventh fret of the G and the B, and then the sixth fret of the E and the D. And then I, again, like to use my thumb, fill out the chord, especially when I'm playing unaccompanied. Slide up the pinky to the ninth fret. That's the melody note. So the first four bars, you'll start to hear how the song is coming together. One more time, real slow. Take your time on this song because it is a slow, spooky ballad.